Let's solve this square root or radical equation. If possible, isolate a radical, and we have a radical isolated here. Then remember what you do next. I'm going to rewrite this so you can see what's going on. We square the left side and we square the right side. Now the left side squared is just the radicon 2x minus 2. The right side squared, if you need to, you may want to go off to the side so you can see what that is because you've got to make sure that you square that binomial correctly. It is x minus 5 times x minus 5, so it's x squared minus 5x minus 5x minus 10x plus 25. Be very careful, that's a common mistake there, squaring the binomial incorrectly. Now notice we have a quadratic equation. So I will set the left side equal to 0, and I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, add 2 to both sides. I'll have x squared. Now if I subtract 2x from both sides, that term is gone, and negative 10x minus 2x, that's minus 12x. Then I'll add 2 to both sides, so that's 25 plus 2, which is 27. We will try and solve by factoring, so let's see if this trinomial factors. That will be x times x, two factors of 27 whose sum is negative 12, that is negative 9 and negative 3. Once we do this, remember we set both factors equal to 0. So I'll say x minus 9 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. Here x is 9 and here x is 3. So notice we have two solutions that are proposed solutions. Keep those in mind, and let's go back to the original equation because, once again, radical equations we must check. So we're going to check 9 and 3. We will check x equal to 9 and x equal to 3. All right, let's start checking. If x is 9, for example, I'll have the square root of 2 times 9 minus 2, is that equal to 9 minus 5? Well, let's see, 2 times 9 is 18, 18 minus 2 is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4, 9 minus 5 is 4. That is true, so 9 checks. Now let's check 3, once again, original equation, and let's let x be 3. That's the square root of 2 times 3 minus 2. Is that equal to 3 minus 5? Well, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Is that equal to 3 minus 5 is negative 2? We've got a problem here because the square root of 4 is 2. That is not equal to negative 2, so this is an extraneous solution. It is not indeed a solution of our original equation, and the only solution is 9.